What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Doctor Who, Season 4, Episode 10. Let's get into it, shall we? No. Oh, Suck Donna. Donna living the good life. The good get. life. A hundred thousand feet into a crystal ravine. Oh, come on. They're boarding now. Yeah, only four hours. That's a little take. No, that's four hours there. Four hours back. School trip. I'd rather go sunbathing. That's ex-tonic sunlight. It says in the brochure this glass is 15 feet thick. I give up. I'll be back for dinner. We'll try that anti-gravity restaurant. It's a day. Well, not a day. Oh, you know what I mean. Oh, get off. See you later. Oi. And you be careful, all right? Yeah. Taking a big space truck with a bunch of strangers across a diamond planet called Midnight. What could possibly go wrong? Sounds fun. Hop oh, slash scary. I'm the doctor, hello. And I'm Dee Dee. Don't bother the man. Dee Dee Blasco. Don't be silly. Come and sit with us. You get slippers. I'll do what your mother says. I'm sitting here. Why don't you two start? Should I save the juice pack? I'll have it now. Look, Peach and Clementine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. Very Dee Dee. spacious. Our seatbelts will be leaving doors. Shields down. The view is shielded until we reach the Waterfall Palace. Don't touch the exterior door seals. Now I will hand you over to Driver Joe. Driver Joe at the wheel. The journey covers 500 clicks. Duration is estimated at four hours. Thank you for traveling with us. Wagons roll. So many different sounds. I would be going nuts. Well, that's a mercy. We seem to have had failure of the entertainment system. What, what do we do? What, four hours of this? I'll tell you what, we'll have to talk to each other instead. Or just mind your own business in silence. I wrote a paper on the lost moon of Poosh. Professor Hobbs read it, took me on his research just for the holidays. Most of the time he's got me fetching and carrying. And did they ever find it? Find what? The lost moon of Poosh. Not yet. Maybe that'll be your great discovery one day. Here's to Poosh. 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 This friend of mine, Donna, she stayed behind in the Leisure Palace. You? It's just me. Oh, I've done plenty of that, travelling on my own. Poosh! I love it. I found myself single rather recently. What happened? The usual. She needed her own space. A different galaxy, in fact. Oh. I reckon that's enough space. Move yeah. to a different galaxy, that? I never went to a different universe. Quite the statement. What's this? Chicken or beef? I think it's both. This is midnight, you Both. see, bombarded by the sun. Ex-tonic rain. Dee Dee, next slide. It's my pet project. I'm the first person to research this. The history is fascinating because no life in this entire system that before the Leisure Palace Company, no one had come here in all eternity. No living thing. But how do you know? I mean, right. no one can go outside. Here we go. He's got a point, though. We look upon this world through glass. Even the Leisure Palace was lowered down from orbit, crossing midnight, but never touching it. PowerPoint said midnight's eras as a Swifty. Have we stopped? My heart went a flutter. Are we there? It's too soon. They don't stop. Crusader vehicles never stop. It's just a small delay. Maybe just a pit stop. I've been on this expedition 14 times. They never stop. Well, evidently, we have stopped. Oh, we've broken down. Thanks, Jethro. That's enough. Uh, now stop it. That's terrifying. We're just experiencing a short delay. Perfectly routine, so if you could just stay in your seat. And you need to Sorry, sir, if you could just... So, what's the problem, Driver Joe? We've just stopped. Our system's fine, everything's working, but we're not moving. Oh, ah, you're right. No fools. And who are you? Claude, I'm a mechanic. Nice to meet you. I've sent a distress signal. How long till they get here? About an hour. Since we're waiting, should we take a look outside? Lift the screen a bit. We've been vaporized. Yeah. There's a finita. Yeah. Yeah. Give you a couple of minutes. Yeah. Oh, my God, that is beautiful. Oh, those diamonds. Poisoned by the sun. Joe, you said we took a detour. Just about 40 clicks to the west. Isn't that a recognized path? The computer worked it out on automatic. So we're the first. It's a piece of ground. No one's ever been here before. Did you just... What? Nothing. What did you see? That ridge. Like a shadow. Just, just for a second. Shields down. Look, look, there he is, there he is! What was it? Like, just something shifting. Like it was... Running. Running which way? Towards us. Doctor, back to your seat. Not a word. Rescue's on its way. If you could close the door. Thank you. What did they say? Oh, just stabilizing happens all the time. I don't need this. This is completely unnecessary. Excuse me, Doctor. But they're micro petrol engines, aren't they? My father was a mechanic. 
Micro petrol doesn't stabilize. In a flim flam. Don't worry. So it's not the engine. It's just flim a little flam. Bit. How much air have we got? It's fine. What did he say? Nothing. Oh, we're running out of air. Is that what the captain said? How much air have we got? Mom, just I stop it. it. I mean, you'd have more air if y'all quit talking. I'm saying. Thank you. If you'd care to listen to my good friend Dee Dee. Oh, the air's on a circular filter. We could stay breathing for ten years. There you go. And I've spoken to the captain. Everything's fine. What was that? It must be the metal. We're cooling down. It could be rocks falling. How long do we have to sit here? Someone out there. Now, don't be ridiculous. We're out in the open. Nothing could fall against the side. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Is there something out there? <laughs> Who's going what the hell is making that noise? I don't know. It is impossible for someone to be outside. <gasps> what the hell is that then? You really should get back to your seat. It's moving. <gasps> it's trying the door. There's nothing out there. Sounds like there is to me. That's the entrance. Can I get in? No. Don't encourage them. Mr. Kane, better not. It's cast iron, that door. <gasps> did you hear that? He did it three times. All right, everyone calm down. Nobody answered. Don't tell me that thing's not alive. It answered. <gasps> you get back to your seat. You're supposed to do something. <gasps> stop it. Make it stop. Don't just stand there looking at me. Started it with his nose and down. Shut up. Oh. Oh. Well, they have. Arms, legs, neck, head, nose. I'm fine. Everyone else, everyone all right? Oh! Earthquake. Possible. Rose. Fix. Everyone, take a torch. They're in the back of the seat. Oh, Jethro, sweetheart, come here. What about her? What's happened to the seat? They've been ripped up. It's all right. It's over. We're still alive. Look, the wall's still intact. You see? We're safe. Can you hear me? The intercom must be down. <laughs> We lost the driver. The cabin's gone. Dangerous. The whole cabin? How can it be gone? But you saw it. There's nothing there. What are you doing? Ah, oh, that's better. A little bit of light. The multi The cabin's gone. The cabin can't be gone. No, no, it's safe. Any rupture would automatically see itself. There's something sliced it off. You're right. The cabin's gone. I'm sorry. They've been reduced to dust. Ooh. The driver and the mechanic. But they sent a distress signal. Help is on its way. They saved our lives. We're still alive and they are going to find us. Look at her. Right, yes. All right. The medical kid. Why won't she turn around? What's her name? Mrs. Sky Silvestri. Sky. Sky Silvestri. Can you hear me? All right. An interesting name. Can you move, Sky? Just look at me. That noise from outside. It's stopped. But what if it's not outside anymore? What if it's inside? Inside where? I was heading for her. Sky. It's all right, Sky. I just want you to turn around. Face me. You're gonna have a different face. You're gonna be a monster. You're being a bit of a creeper. Are you, right? are you all right? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? You don't have to talk. You don't have to talk. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. My name's the doctor. My name's the doctor. I'd like you to stop. I'd like you to stop. She's gone mad. She's gone mad. Now stop it. This isn't right, funny. No, stop it. This isn't funny. Shh, shh, shh. My name's Jethro. My name's Jethro. That's very annoying. <laughs> Why are you repeating? Why are you repeating? What is that? Learning? What is that? Learning? Copying? Copying? Absorbing? Absorbing? The square root of pi is 1.7245385094. The square root of pi is 1.7245089241. Wow! I stepped into the light. That's impossible. That's impossible. Tell her to stop. She's driving me mad. She's driving me mad. Telling I'm you telling whatever, you, whatever your name is. Now if you don't shut up, strong with her. She can't copy anything. Can we just toss her off the... We just open the door. And... That's the backup system. That's a bit better. The rescue. How long is it going to take? Sixty minutes. That's all. Then I suggest we all calm down. That poor woman is evidently in a state of self-induced hysteria. We should leave her, Doctor. I know. Now step back. I think you should leave her uh, alone. What's she doing? She's talking with you and with me. Oh my God. Biff, what's she doing? She's repeating. At exactly the same time. Impossible. It's not even a delay. I think you should all be very, very quiet. How's she doing it? Mrs. Kane, please be quiet. How did she do that? She's got my words! She's doing it to me. Just stop it. Stop it, please. 
Ciao. Sky Silvestri. Are you Sky? She is. Is Sky still in there? Creeper. Mrs. Silvestri. Silvestri. How are you doing that? Roast beef. The Bananas. Music. <laughs> the Bananas. Medusa Cascade. Bang! Rose Tyler Martha Jones Donna Noble Tardis. Shamble Bobble Double. <laughs> You're so handsome. Yes, I am. Thank you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, L, M, N, O. So she repeats, then she catches up. What's the next stage? It's not her, is it? It's not Mrs. Sylvester anymore. I don't think so, no. Toss her off. Vote her off the island. The more we talk, the more she learns. Let's just move back. He doesn't believe in murder. You you he doesn't stop. believe in killing. Stop looking at her. Come on, Jethro, you two. 50 minutes till the rescue arrives. And she's not exactly strong. All she's got is our voices. I can't, I can't look at her. It's those eyes. We must not look at goblin men. What's that supposed to mean? Poem. Christina Rossetti. We must not look at goblin men. We must not buy their fruits. Who knows upon what soil they fed their hungry fruits? Actually, I don't think that's helping. She's just a very sick woman. That's why I went for her. There is no it. That knocking went all the way around the bus until it found her. And she was the most scared out of all of us. Girl. Maybe. Who that? That's what it needed. That's how it got in. For the last time, nothing can live on the surface. I'm glad you've got an absolute definition of life in the universe. Perhaps the universe has got ideas of its own. Trust me, I've got previous. I think there might well be some. Consciousness inside, but maybe she's still in there, and it's our job to help her. I'm not going near. I've got to stay back, as if she's copying us, then maybe the final stage is becoming us. Oh, you're so special. Yes, I am. That's decided. <laughs> we stay back and we wait. When the rescue ship comes, we can get her to the hospital. Maybe I'll it's just communicate. Yeah. Beg your pardon? Can we do that? That thing killed the driver and the mechanic, and I don't think she's finished yet. Look at her. Look at her eyes. She killed you, and she killed Claude, and we're next. She's still doing it. Stop it! Fifth we are! We can't throw her out though, we can't even open the doors! No one is getting thrown out. Y'all open the door to the cabin! Put her ass where the cabin was! Yes, we can. Because there's an air pressure seal. Like when you open the cabin door, you had a couple of seconds. Because it takes a pressure wall about six seconds to collapse. Six seconds exactly. That's enough time to throw someone out. Thanks, Stevie. Just what we needed. Would it kill her outside? She's got a body now. It would certainly kill the physical form. No one is killing anyone. All we need to do is grab hold of her and throw her out. For all we know, that's a brand new life form. And if it's come inside to discover us, then what's it found? This little bunch of humans. What do you amount to? Murder? Because this is where you decide. Could you actually murder her? Any of you? Really? Or are you better than that? She could I do, do it. it. Yeah. So would I. I think we should. What? You can't say that. You said it yourself, Doctor. She is growing in strength. I want to go home. Sorry. I want to be safe. Any minute now, the rescue truck is on its way. And what happens then, Doctor? If that thing reaches civilization, what if it spreads? Well, I'll be there to contain it. We haven't done much so far. She's dangerous. My job to see that this vessel is safe. I think we're all going a little bit too far. Thank you. Two people are dead. Jethro, what do you say? Killing anyone. Thank you. He's just a boy. So I don't get a vote. There isn't a vote. If you try to throw her out that door, you'll have to get past me first. Okay. Fine by me. Could you actually take hold of someone and throw them out of that door? Put you in charge anyway. I'm sorry. You're a doctor of what exactly? The rest of you, tickets in advance. He just turned up. Where from? I'm a traveler. That's all. Like it sounds moment. fishy. Who are you talking to? We're talking to someone. Who's that? Just Donna, my friend. And what were you saying to her? He hasn't even told us his name. Doctor, you've been loving this. Oh, Jethro, not you. You do seem to have a certain glee. All right, I'm interested. I can't help it. It's brand new, and that's fascinating. What you wanted this to happen? You were talking to her. For all the trouble, right at the front, you were talking to that Sky Woman. Together, I saw you. What were you saying to her? Just talking. Saying what? Called us humans like you're not one of us. That's what he said. He went into that panel and opened up the wire. How did you know what to do? Because I'm clever. A lot of yelling. A lot of yelling in this episode. Everybody's stressing me out. And what are we then, idiots? If you're clever, then what are we? Even if he goes, he's practically volunteered. Just listen to yourself, please! Do you mean we throw him out as well? If we have to. Well, why are you shocked? Right, so, yes, hold on. I know I'm scared, and so am I. Look at me, I am. But we have all got to calm down and think. Perhaps you could tell us your name. John Smith, your real He's name. lying. Eyes are the same as hers. Why won't you tell us, oh, Doctor? Name. Just no say it's called John Smith. Now, listen to me right now, because you need me. If we are going to get out of this, then you need me. You've been repeating yourself more than her. If in charge, you should be the professor. He's the expert. So, just look. You keep out of this, Jethro. Look at her. She stopped. Uh-oh. When did she? No, she hasn't. She's still doing it. She looks the same to me. She stopped talking and she's not what about me look look at that she's not doing me she's let me go this is celestry not me nothing just the Sky. doctor what are you doing she's still doing him she's only copying you why me she won't leave him alone do you see she's with him how do you explain it doctor if you're so clever i don't know 
Sky. Oh, stop it. I said stop it. Just stop it. Look at the two of them. I'm trying to understand. You've captured my speech. What for? What do you need? You need my voice in particular. The cleverest voice in the room. Why? Because I'm the only one who can help. I'd love that to be true, but your eyes, they're saying something else. Listen to me. Whatever, Whatever you, you want. You don't have to steal it. You, you can, can find, find it without, without hurting, hurting anyone. anyone. And I'll help you. That's a promise. So, what do you think? Do we, do we have, have a deal? A deal? Oh, she said it did first. She... she spoke first. She did. She spoke first. Oh, look at that. Oh, ahead of look you. Look at that. I'm ahead of you. Did you see? She spoke before he did. He's copying her. Doctor, what's happening? It's letting me go. I think it's letting me go. What do you mean? He's repeating now. He's the one doing it. It's him. Surprising. Mrs. Silvestri. Is that Weird. You? Yes, yes. It's me. Yes, it's me. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. It's me. Listen, it's me. It's passed into the doctor. It's transferred. It's gone inside him. It's not what happened. Look at her. Look at me. I can move. Look at me. I can feel again. Coming I can back move. to life. Look I'm at coming him. back to life. Move. And look at him. He can't move. Help me. Help me. Get me away from him. Get me away from him. Please. Please. Don't help her ass. No way. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. It's in him. I said it was him all the time. She's free. She's been saved. It was so cold. It was so cold. I couldn't breathe. Couldn't breathe. I must have scared you. I must have scared you. Now we're going to go through all this shit again. Oh, there you are. I wouldn't touch her. She's clean. It passed into him. You don't just believe happened. that. Thank you for your opinion. Mrs. Silvestri has been released. No. She's safe, isn't she? Jethro, it's let her go, hasn't it? I think so, yeah. Looks like it. Professor, I'd say uh, from observation, the doctor can't move. She couldn't move, so... Well, there we are then. Now the only problem we've got is this doctor. It's oh. inside his head. It's inside his head. It killed the driver. It killed the driver. And now it wants us. Oh, no, it's and still it you, evil. He's waited so long. He's waited so long. Until you came. Until you came. So hot. So hot. With blood. With blood. Pain. Someone make him stop. But she's saying it. But it's not him, it's her. He's just repeating. That's what the thing does. Let her talk. Fat lot of good you've been. Just let her explain. I think it repeat goes on to the next stage, and that's exactly what the doctor said. And you're on his side. Voice is the thing. And she's the voice. She stole it. Look at her. It's not possessing him. It's draining him. That's not true, because it can't be, because I saw it pass into him. So did I. You didn't. Went from her to him. You saw How it, did you me? see it? Oh, don't be stupid, Jethro. You didn't of course you see did. it. Everyone saw it. Everyone. Didn't you just making it out? I know what I saw. I saw her stealing his voice. Jesus. Someone shut her up. I think you should be quiet. Only and stay. that's an order. You make a fool of yourself. You are nothing more than average. Shut up! That's how he does it. That's how he does it. Creeps into your head. Creeps into your head. Whispers. Whispers. Listen. Listen. That's him. That's him. Inside. Stop. Inside. Throw it. Get him out of my head! We should throw him out! Don't just talk about it! Do something! Will. You watch me! I'm gonna throw him out! Yes! Yes! Throw no. him out! Throw him out! Rid of him! Rid of him! Now! Go! No. No. I don't think we should do this! Professor, help me! I can't. Come on! Throw him out! Come on! Just do it! Professor, help me! Get him out! Cast him out! Cast him out! No! And the knife. Told you should have threw her out. Threw her ass out. Get him out! Do it! Do it! Faster! Faster! That's the way! That's the way! Morto bene! Throw him out! Morto bene! What? Allons-y! Allons-y! His voice! The second his voice! She's taken his life! It's gone. You it's sacrificed gone. yourself too? It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone, it's gone. Uh, Y'all should have just threw her out at the beginning. I said it was her. Yeah, but then y'all wanted to throw him out. The hostess. What was her name? No one even knows. I don't know. No one knows her name? That's messed up. 
Y'all messed what up for that. Was? No idea. Do you think it's still out there? Well, you better tell them. This long. Yeah, we can build a leisure palace somewhere else. Let this planet keep on turning in silence. I can't imagine you without a voice. Molto bene. Molto bene. No, don't do that. Don't. Oh. Found a body, sir. The doctor is dead. Oh. I don't like hearing that. <laughs> um, that episode was pretty cool. I I it kind of reminded me of the one where they were like stuck on the car, remember? Like in the in the um tubes when everything else around was dead or whatever, and they were like leaving in the you know, you know which one I'm talking about. I forgot what the episode was called. Kind of reminded me of that vibe. I mean, I like it. I could see why people would like it, but it, it stressed me out. So I don't know if I would watch that one repeatedly or again, because like all the yelling and the cop, like it just, it gave me some anxiety that I like, don't really like. <laughs> so I think it got like just a little too yelly and stuff for me, but it, it was a good episode. I liked the story. I, I, I'm interested to see what's going to happen next. I needed, I, I wish there was a little bit more of my girl Donna in there. And then Rose on the screen, man. I'm excited to see what the hell that's all about. This, this season though is like overall, I think my favorite one so far out of the four that I've seen. So I have high hopes, high hopes for the, for the ending here. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about this one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.